Hello guys, welcome back to a my phone channel. If your iPad keeps shutting down without you doing so, you might want to try and solve the issue before you send them to the Apple Store. In fact, as long as no battery and other internal issues, repairing it could be easy with just a pulse of steps. Here we sum up numbers of solutions, and let's check them out. This is often the first thing you should do when dealing with hardware or software issues in an iPad. This is how you can do a hard reset. Press and hold onto the sleep wait button and home button simultaneously. The iPad will display the launch screen with the Apple logo on it. Release both the button at this time. Let the iPad reboot. The problem might also be the result of improper functioning of the battery and related software that could be preventing the iPad from running smoothly. The best way to rule out such is to drain off the battery completely. After it has lost all its charge, here is what you need to do. Plug the iPad to the mains. Remember to always use an original Apple charger. See if the device is charging normally. Let it charge completely at one go. However, if the iPad does not seem to be charging as it should be, there might be some issues with the charging cable or the M, Ions, or if you are charging via a USB port on a PC, try a different swap. Once it has acquired full charge, disconnect and check if it is still restarting automatically. If you want to get the iPad reboot loop perfectly solved, leave everything behind. The best solution we've found is by using a third-party tool known as a MyPhone Fixpo. It is the best iOS iPadOS repair software. Step 1. You have to download and install the MyPhone Fixpo on your computer. Step 2. After download and install process, launch the MyPhone Fixpo, select standard mode and connect your app to the computer via USB cord. Then click on the next button. Step 3. Click on the download button after selecting the correct device model and firmware version. Step 4. After the firmware is downloaded, click on the start button to start the repairing process. When the repairing process ends, your iPad will be repaired and it should work as good as new. Keep in mind the standard mode doesn't involve any data loss. But the advanced mode wipes off all the data. In most of cases we've encountered the iPad turning on and off issue can be solved this way. Those are the three major ways to fix the issue. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything leave a like or your comment. See you next time.